Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are doing a no makeup makeup type of look. It's something that's really easy to do for the summertime or if you're a mom on the go. I've gotten quite a few requests to do this type of look and I've been wanting to do it because it's something that I've been kind of doing in my daily routine since it's been so freaking hot. Like, Illinois gets hot but it's been like blazing hot you know what I mean I'm sure you know what I mean especially if you live in Texas Arizona Alabama you know Louisiana you know all of those different states so you're probably like girl you don't even know um, it's just something I've been enjoying doing that's something really lightweight I'm using concealers for like a foundation you know doing a very light natural brow just some mascara some lip gloss and on the go you know and of course I had to add a little bit of highlight you already know I gotta add the glow but you know, everything else is pretty minimalistic. I hope that when you watch this video, it is a talk through video, so it's going to be very long, which is probably why you did or didn't click on the video. But I hope that when you watch this video, you can, you know, sit down and do the steps with me if you want to. Just remember that everything that I do in this look in this video is for my own personal sake and because I like to do it. Now, if you don't want to add highlighter or a liquid highlighter or you know do your brows or anything like that you do not have to do it you don't have to add any powders you don't have to do anything if you want to just apply the concealers and set them and go by all means girl do it because you might just be going to a softball game and you don't need glow you know what I mean I just like to add glow just to add a little bit more structure especially to my nose and to add just a little bit to my cheekbones it's just personally how I am you guys know I like to glow <laughs> So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed. And also, leave me more comments on what you would like to see. I am preparing to do a cut crease for one of my subscribers with a pop of color. I'm still thinking that whole thing through, but it is in my brain. So I do not forget the suggestions. And also, the foundation video. Let me know if you guys want to see a foundation collection video because I've heard from quite a few people that they would like to see that next because I just did my highlighter collection. So let me know what you guys want to see next, and I will see you guys very soon. Mwah! Bye! So the first two things I'm going to use are both primers. You still want to prime your skin even though you're not wearing a lot of makeup just so that it stays on a little bit longer and it's not sitting directly on your skin because who knows what are in these products, especially some of the ones that are more higher end that might not be cruelty free. Who knows? So first thing I'm going to use is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. You guys know about this. You guys know I love it. This is the pore minimizing primer and no matter what I still have to use a primer because my pores are huge. And then I'm going to use this Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer just because I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately so I'm just going to use this to put underneath of my eyes just to get rid of the bags and the puffiness and anything like that and they say you can use it alone or for instant brightening. So I'm going to use both of these. So. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit. So if you guys have been following me around for following me on YouTube for a while, you know that I used to have a lot of blemishes and dark spots. They've all pretty much gone away except like it's still kind of dark around my eyes and I'm just getting like <laughs> bumps everywhere. But to um, put on foundation, I'm going to apply my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Cafe, which just looks like this and this is a little bit closer to my skin tone. So I am just going to take this and just kind of put it in areas where I need either a little bit of extra coverage or it's like a little dark. And the reason I'm doing this is because I know some women don't like a lot of foundation or, you know, don't have time to put on a full face of foundation. And if that is the case for you. This is going to be a win-win because all you're doing is covering those spots on your skin where you're not very happy about and making it appear like the rest of your skin, whereas it's flawless. So to blend that all out, I am going to use this My Makeup Brush Set. These are like these little spoon brushes that you see everywhere. Um, they reached out to me and sent me a set of their brushes. Now, um, I did use them in a couple of videos ago. Um, I wasn't very happy about it. Well, I don't know if this video will go before the other video, but it's cheaply made. It's made in China, and it started cracking. Like, if I hold the handle, and I do it, it's only like a $30 brush set. But if I hold the handle and start, like, start doing it, it sounds like it's going to break. So, anyway, I'm just going to blend that in. Also, by using a brush, more of the product is going to be distributed onto your face as opposed to being soaked in by a beauty blender, which is why I chose to use 
this brush. So the next one I'm going to go in with is, is still the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but it's in the shade Amande, which is just a teensy tad bit lighter than my skin tone. Uh, NARS has really good products for uh, women of color, so if you're looking for something... I, what I found with these is I have to kind of swirl it around in the tube to kind of like grab the product off the side of the bottle because it seems like it runs out like crazy. So I'm just going to take this and just run a swipe just right under my eye. I'm not going to like do too much of highlighting or anything like that. But I'm just going to take this over my eye as well just to get rid of some darkness. And I will take it down the bridge of my nose and the center of my forehead a little bit. And my chin. <laughs> can't not do my chin so I'm gonna take the same brush and blend this out you guys know I live for my beauty blender especially for blending out my concealer so this was a change for me but a good one I can say And if you don't have discoloration on your lids, you don't have to worry about concealing over your lids because it's not that big of a deal. But I just wanted my lids to be the same color as the rest of my skin because I find that it just looks so weird if it doesn't. So after that, I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Forever Pro HD Powder. And it's just a white translucent powder, which I just have been loving lately. So I'm just going to take that and... You still want to set your face no matter what because even though it's concealer and it has kind of more of that like non-creasing technology, it still can crease. So I'm just going to take that everywhere I did that. And then because it's the summertime and I want to add a little bit more darkness into my skin, I'm going to take my MAC blot powder, my pressed blot powder in it deep dark, which is going to help absorb extra oils, which I personally have, and I'm going to take like a flat brush and just kind of smooth this around my skin. Everywhere where I applied that first concealer, so it's kind of like bronzing up the skin slash just setting that concealer as well, slash giving extra coverage. So now that the face is pretty much done, you can either run out the house like this because you have on a, a nice base, or you can go the extra step, which I am going to just because um, it's my take on a no makeup makeup look. <laughs> so I am going to use this Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops, and this is in the shade Candlelight. And this is the darker shade of the four. I think there's four or maybe six of them. And this is a darker shade of the four, and um, it's just so beautiful. It has, like, a dotter where you can kind of squeeze out a couple dots. I am just going to take, like, two dots. Oh, actually a lot came out. <laughs> and this is what it looks like on my skin. It's very, very droopy. Um, to apply this, I'm just going to take one of these, my makeup brushes, and just attempt to not make it look so shiny on my skin so I'm just gonna put this on the tops of my cheekbones so now that I've wasted this whole blob <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with this um, physicians formula boot bronzer booster and this is for light to medium skin and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just go over the top of this just to add a little bit of extra glow then after that just take a little bit a teensy window of blush and this is my NYX blush in pinched and it's just like a pinkish color and I'm just gonna take that on a dual fiber brush the reason I'm applying blush not because I like really want to is just to help blend out the highlighter that I applied just a little bit and I don't know why my skin has just been like I'm about to start my period, I think, but my skin has just been breaking out so crazily. So next we are just going to do our brows and just spoolie through them. And I'm just going to use my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. And I'm not going to do a super defined brow as I usually do. I'm just going to keep it pretty light and pretty natural. Now that my brows are done, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. And this is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. You guys know already. I did a whole video on this mascara. It's like one of my all-time favorites. 
and it really, really, really lengthens my lashes. Now, if I weren't doing this look on camera, this whole face would take me 10 minutes or less if I don't have to deal with like my niece or anything like that. But it can take me nothing to film the, or to do this look, but since I'm filming it and talking through it, it's just going to be a little bit longer, which I hope you guys don't mind. But I figured if I talked you guys through it, it'd be a little bit more easy for you to just sit down and do it. As opposed to trying to do a voiceover and it's like, wait, 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 slow down, slow down, pause. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I know when I was learning how to do makeup, like I was hitting that pause button all the time. Watching YouTube videos. So I technically don't need falsies. Um, and I think I might still apply them. I'm not sure. I probably won't. But I'm going to apply some black liner into my upper waterline just to darken that to give the lashes the appearance of looking a little bit more fuller and this is definitely a trick you can do if your lashes are aren't very full just apply a little bit of um, eyeliner up there even though you might start crying <laughs> um, just to make your lashes appear a little bit fuller so for my bottom lashes I am going to apply my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara Y'all already know about this. Um, I've been using this for years and years. And it's my only and favorite bottom lash mascara. And you can get it at Walgreens for like $3. And after that, I'm just going to grab... This palette is sitting right here. This is the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to take Primavera out of here, which is right here. It's just like a gold shade. Um, just because my highlighters are a little bit like more of like a bronzy gold. And I'm just going to pop this into my inner corner corner just to brighten that up just the tiniest bit also take a little bit of that and put it right underneath of my brow bone now I usually don't do this just because I'm not like the biggest fan of it but I'm kind of glowing today so I'm just gonna go for it okay let's just go for a nude lip because it's a natural look I'm gonna use chestnut by clean color which are the lip liners that you can get from your local beauty supply store and then I'm going to go in with NYX's Madeline, Madeline lip gloss. It's a butter lip gloss. I feel like my mom in like in the 1990s, you know, when they <laughs> when they wore like the, you know, the super dark lip liner. Yeah. And lastly, I'm just going to spray my face with my Mario Badescu facial spray. This is like the with aloe, aloe, herbs, 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 and rose water. So... <laughs> Just a refresher mist, just to refresh your makeup a little bit. And that pretty much wraps up my look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this easy kind of no makeup makeup look. I don't know if it'll be no makeup makeup to you, but it is to me because I'm not wearing a full, full face. And it feels very lightweight and it doesn't feel like I really have on too much of anything. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.